Hey guys, it's just I, Karen, and I have attached my tripod to my other, to my shelf. So once it stops shaking, as long as it should not shake instead of on my desk, which makes things shake. Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> so, um, I, again, I'm working in absolute chaos. I make one thing and clean to do it. And then I start another thing. And because this is my only spot right now, it's horrific. But I wanted to take a break. I'm trying to make this this uh, address for a Blythe, but I'm aggravated. I need a break. <clears throat> um, I had tried to make a dress out of this fabric and it did not fit with a pattern I was using. I even lined it, but it didn't quite work. It was for the, I was trying to get it to go on a standard size Barbie. Um, but it was too short in the back, just slightly. So I <clears throat> redid the pattern so it was a little bit bigger. Um, and I didn't attach the dress. The skirt, as you can see, this is my model. I got her for Christmas with, um, I guess I just call her Millie. I got her with a sewing, like a sewing, somebody gave me a sewing Barbie kit. I'll show it at some point. It's over behind me, which is why I don't want to, I don't want to dig it out and make more mess here. But, um, but anyway, so I was working on trying to make a circle skirt and I absolutely hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Anyway, so I did end up making the dress and it's mostly successful. I have to put the snaps on. But I did adjust it and it is big enough in the back as you can see. Um this is edge is closed and then I just need to fold this over. I used tool. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. I'm sorry, I'm not used to this. Anyway, I used tool to do the edging so that I could flip over the top. Um, so this needs to have snaps put on it. And I originally wanted this to be kind of like a more of a 1950s dress, but the pattern has a very low waist and I didn't want to adjust it because <clears throat> I had already cut out a circle skirt and that was a pain in the rear because I didn't use math and so I had to eyeball it. It's a slightly, slightly too long. I wanted it to be, Lena's got such long legs. It, I wanted it calf length and I, and it's just slightly too long. It probably should be there. But if she had a petticoat under it, then it would probably be okay. Um, anyway, so this is like a 1980s style dress and it's beautiful. This is a fat quarter that I had picked up quite a while ago. I don't know if they still have them at Joann's. Um, I'm sorry, I can't. So I think it looks look really pretty. I just need to get this the closures on it, and then maybe I'll take some pictures of it for Instagram and try to make it look pretty. Style her. But, you know, I only have a limited amount of energy still. But today I'm like, I'm hating. This is my very, this is like a test pincushion thing that I made when I was trying to get my grandmother's sewing machine to work. And it's, um, it's fine, but it doesn't, um, the pins just fall right through to the bottom and I, um, not all the way out, but so I'm, cause I guess like most people use like, not most people, uh, like walnut shavings or whatever really helps to keep the pins more stiff, but this is fine, but it's just aggravating me. So I have two things that I was thinking of doing. One is I have this piece of plastic packaging and at some point I was thinking of like decorating I don't remember what this came with to 
but I was thinking of turning this into a pin cushion. Hey, how are you? Rainbow Fairy Crafter has joined us. Um, and the other thing I was thinking of doing was turning this heart, like I made a heart, just a heart pattern. And I was thinking of, I'm just like messing around with sewing today. I was trying to make a dress for a Blythe and I got aggravated. So I thought I'd try like take a break from it and try to make something else. Part of the reason I'm aggravated is I had to adjust a pattern that I had and kind of pretty much just reshape it. And then I am almost out of Bray check. And I bought two bottles of Bray check. They're here somewhere. And <laughs> I can't, I can't find it. I can't find it. And I, if I got up and dug through all my crap, I could find it. But you know, I just, I'm still not like, at the point where I can get up and dig through a bunch of stuff. So, so I'm going to try to make this a very, very simple, like I was going to make like a little heart cushion, but I'm thinking I'm going to put some cardboard behind it so that the, I don't know how this is going to work. Um, there was some cardboard over here. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. So I have this piece of cardboard that came out of a, the back quarter. I, I made that dress with, it's like a cardboard. It's not a very thick. Yeah, Bray Check is pretty. I don't like using glue and stuff, and I hated it at first, but now, like for doll clothes, it's pretty indispensable. So I pretty much just use it all the time. So, and I have some, like I said, but I don't know what the heck happened to it. So I'm really aggravated. Um,. Yeah, so I'm just going to wing this. Like, I have no plans for this at all. I'm just going to wing it and see how it goes. Um, so I'm what I'm thinking of doing is, like, cutting around. So I'll cut this out exactly. And then I'm thinking of cutting. Yeah, tacky glue. I tried to use, I've got some um, Elmer's glue over at my sewing machine and I thought about trying to use that, but I would need to, um, it, it's way stiffer than the, it, it dried stiffer. So first of all, if you wash the clothes, I think it would come out the Elmer's glue because it's, you know, water soluble or whatever. And then also it made it stiffer. So that wasn't exactly necessarily the best, but I don't know. I, at this point, I'll try anything. I'm so angry. No. So I'm thinking of, I could sew this or I could maybe just use hot glue or tacky glue to do this. Because what I'm thinking of is making the cardboard and then I'll need to cut the fabric out a little bit bigger and then slide that in there. Or glue it. Well, we'll see. You heat seal your tacky glue with a flat iron. Really? Can you, when you craft something with it next time, can you show that on your channel? How quickly does that work? I mean, I guess I would think that would melt it, but I don't know anything. So that's really cool. So could you? If you have time, the next time you think about it when you're using it, if you could demonstrate that technique, that would be super awesome. So, super awesome. All right, let's... I could try to make... No, we'll just leave the camera the way it is. It's not a perfect setup yet, but that's okay. So, oh my God, my desk. It's like ridiculous. I cleaned the whole thing so I could get my drawing tablet over there at the beginning of this crafting session, sewing shut, and now it's just a trash heap again. You've done it on your channel before? I've just missed it, huh? I'll have to look. I'll have to look. So what are you working on right now? What's your project that you're in the middle of? Do you have anything going right now?
I was thinking about doing this like a pillow then slipping this in, but now I'm wondering if I should just glue it. We'll see. This is just experimentation day. So I'm just going to cut this. Oh, you're still working on your market? Did you get the market finished and now you're just working on the stuff to put in it or are you still working on the actual building? You haven't done anything this week? Yeah, I've barely done anything myself. Like last week, I was so tired. All right, so I'm just going to use this. You just working on the food? Are you making all the food yourself? Right, I'm just going to trace around this with a seam allowance of some kind. I don't know, this is probably half an inch, a little less, just eyeballing it. Before you start up again, you're going to convert your closet into a craft room. Oh my gosh, how big is your closet? Is it like a walk-in closet? Or just a regular size closet that you're going to add shelving and stuff into in a desk or that sounds very exciting. All right, so I guess I'll need two of these. It's small, so folding closet. Are you going to build that yourself or are you going to buy like something? Because I mean, I've seen a lot of cool like storage, like a wardrobe that when you open it up, it turns into a whole crafting center. Are you going to get something like that or build something like that? Or I hope you're going to document this. This sounds very good. I think I'm going to glue this because so I was going to make a pillow, but this might turn out very wonky. We'll see since I don't like this fabric anyway. I had bought some, this is a remnant that I got at Joann's. I like to look at the remnants for stuff because you can get it really, really cheap. And I just don't like sewing on this stuff. It's frustrating. I need to make this bigger if I'm not sewing it. We'll see. Well, I'm just really being a slob here with this. I feel like everybody was kind of slow last week with crafts in our little community. I didn't see as many videos as normal. Well, if you do the before of just the closet and then say, here's what I'm going to do. And then the after and explain what you did, that would be super cute. Like, cool. Like, don't do the whole, like, as you're doing it, you know, only because I'm nosy. <laughs> nosy. I'm nosy. That's why I want to see what everybody does to get inspired to get my own stuff sorted. All right. Well, thanks for stopping in. It was so nice to see you. All right. If this turns out, I might do 
more of these and some kind of a video on it, but I don't think it's going to turn out. We'll see. All right. I really wanted to be productive today, but I really need to find that stinking glue. All right. I have another circle skirt attempt over here too, see? All right, so uh, let's see, I cut out, what happened to my heart? No, there it is. All right, so we cut out, what I'm thinking is gluing this, gluing this, so originally I was thinking of gluing this with that in there and then stuffing it. That was my original idea. Which would work, it's just that I don't necessarily want this to shift around. All right, so, If I do that, I can't because I'd have to have my seams unless I blind stitch it all the way around, which I could do. I could, I could blind stitch it. The other thing is I could glue this all the way down around here and then this would work really well with the belt. Hmm. So I could glue this, then I could gather the edges slightly of this one, turn them under, gather it, and then we'll just stitch it down like this with hand sewing a blind stitch. I don't know if you can see, that would give it a pretty clean edge. And then I would be hand sewing it. So I think we're going to try that. I don't know how well this is going to stick on here. I don't want to use, I think if I tried to use Mod Podge or something, it might um, stain it. I've been, I had that problem with the Mod Podge staining and I don't really feel like getting the hot glue gun heated up. So I'll just stick it down with this for now and see if this will work. All right. This is experimentation time. I am recording this, so I suppose I could, if this works out, I could just edit this into a video, but Look, see, so you can see on the back how it's coming through. This is what I wanted to avoid. Damn it. Why you gotta be like this, fabrics? Apparently my glue technique is not good. My glue game is not good. This will be the bottom, so I guess it doesn't totally matter, but it came right through. I was, didn't want to, I was hoping Damn, that is coming through. I thought this would be less um, watery, so I was hoping it wouldn't. If anybody watches this on playback and you have glue tips for me, let me know. All right, so then we need to clip this and glue these down. I am not 
thinking this is a good idea. I don't know how well this is going to work. I also tried to put it on the cardboard side so that hopefully the cardboard would soak up some of the moisture, but I might have needed to make this uh, bigger, more give myself more of an allowance. We'll see. Yeah, look at that. It looks like shh. It looks like garbage. I want to cry and see it's already coming up. Oh, it will dry without. All right, I'm going to make my life easy and I'm going to stick the glue gun in. All right, give that a moment to. <sighs> Me and glue. This is why I like to sew things because. Now, the only problem is if I use the glue, see, I cut it too small here. So if I use the glue gun and I sew it, I might be trying to sew through glue, which could give me a problem. This is a very thin fabric. Oh well, it's fine. It'll be fine. This is an experiment. So I might glue down the other one then. I might glue down the other one instead of trying to sew it. I mean the top part. But, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to come out. I got my foil and masking tape in the mail, so I want to work on the tree some more, but uh, I have to get some sewing things done first. So yeah, I think I should sew around the edges to gather the shape. I guess, ooh. I probably have to do that. All right, this is probably good to go. I don't know. I am just learning how to be better with the glue gun. Let's see if this will work. I'm not very good. I'm trying not to use too much. This is a really hot, this is a high temperature glue gun. Yeah, I didn't want to go down all the way there. Hey. Oh, my glue stick fell out. My glue stick fell out. I'm not a good crafter yet. Now, so I didn't give myself enough. Look at how janky that is. It's not good. I mean, it's going to be on the inside, so, like, who cares, I guess, but. <laughs> I'm really aggravated about the back. <sighs> I need to like Google like tips on how to glue fabric so the glue doesn't show through. All right. Look at me getting more and more bold with the glue gun. Oh, 
this is don't you know you have something in your head when you start a project and then you start working on it and you're like um yeah no <laughs> the execution leaves something to be desired I know some of you are like just absolute pros with the glue gun out there. I'm jealous. I have this little bit hanging off. I'll try to cut that off. All right. All right, well that was pretty pathetic. Just trying to make sure it's Nice and flat. This thing smells like ugh. This hot, this high temperature one. It smells like a like you know when you use your hair dryer and it. All right. So now the question is, how do I get this heart on here? So the thought is, maybe do a running stitch along the heart shape to gather it. That's a thought. I don't know if that's going to work or not. We'll try it. This will be about as exciting as watching glue dry. Oh, come on, I can't even get this needle threaded. Okay, and I'm going to put a knot in the end. Let me see. Go home. Just wrap it around a few times. Is this called the quilter's knot? I'm not sure. All right, so let's start at the point. I'm going to have to leave part of it. Um, now I guess I should gather the whole thing, but when I attach it, depending on how I attach it, I'll have to, well, we'll see. I have no idea how this is going to work, you guys. So I'm just going to go on my line. I don't know how this, can you see? And then I'm going to do a little back stitch to secure the knot. And then I'm going to do some pretty big stitches. Make a big giant knot in my thread, as I always do. Because I'm going to want to pull it. Hmm. It works when you do a circle. I'm not sure about this. This could also help me decide, like, so the other thing about stitching around an edge like this that I've discovered or seen is that even if you don't use it to gather, it will help you, like, as a folding point. So as, like, a stay stitch to help you fold or, or shape a shape. So I don't know. This could end up being a giant waste of time. See, it is gathering it. This fabric probably won't like having pins stuck in it either, but that's okay. The other thing when I, if I make the other thing into a pin cushion. I literally will just hot glue it in there and decorate the outside somehow. Maybe with like yarn or something. I don't know. Because I would just need to line, line it, stuff it, well, that might be annoying too. 
I would probably do that with blue. Uh, yeah. Blue, put something on, like, fabric on the outside of it. That might be. But a thicker fabric, one that will take the glue, maybe with the scraps from that dress. And then we'll see how this goes. I mean, the other thing is to just probably cut like a, a rectangle of fabric that would fit around this, stuff it, and then glue it around the shape on the bottom and cut away the excess. If this doesn't work, maybe I'll try that. I could just Google. I'm sure there's like a really good tutorial on this somewhere already. And I should have just Googled it, but I like to figure things out on my own. It's like a puzzle. And I don't want this to be very thick because I want the pins to stick up so that I can grab them easily. A lot of people do round pin cushions inside of found objects like pin, like bottle caps and all kinds of stuff. So I think, I mean, I should be able to make something like a tube to go in there. If I don't want to get like, you know, make a freaking square pattern or rectangular pattern. Or just glue it. All right, I'm almost to the I'm almost to the back side now. What I want to make is some kind of one that is like attaches with velcro over to my on my sewing machine, like with a velcro dot. A small one cuz I you move and pin things so much over there. All right, now, if I gather it, it's not going to gather as nicely as a circle would. And it probably just would need to do it very slowly, but it's kind of doing it. It looks like a little bonnet cap or something. So I probably just want to use this as a stage stitch, honestly. All right, let me... Where in the world is my bottom? It's over there. Pfft, be. I have this little teeny tiny one that I made. <laughs> I need one for needles. I need one for pins and one for needles, like for hand sewing needles. I'm not doing anything exciting today, sorry. All right. No, oh, I scrunched it up too much, dang it. Start on the side because that's where I secured it. Pull this back out. All right. All right, let me grab my, let me grab my fluff. Okay.
All right, I just, I don't want it to be very thick. So I guess what I'm thinking of doing is It has to be a little bit thicker and tight. I don't know. I don't know how well this is going to hold the heart shape. So if I don't sew this and I glue it, I would still want it to cup. So I guess I was thinking I wanted to glue it or sew it along this line like that. All right, so maybe I'll need to make a little sand itch. Sandwich. Oh, you know what I have? This would probably be better. I just found them. So I was trying to clean up my pile over there. So we have these little sewing clips instead of pins. People use these. All right, so what I'll do is what I want to do is clip these in place along the line that I the bait that I basted, right? So that we can maintain our shape. That's what I'm thinking. We must maintain our shape at all costs. I did not tie that off. I don't know if I'm... I'm gonna have to fold this under, but I just wanna make sure that I can fold it under a little bit of time and not like go out of wildly out of shape, so. I'm going to clamp it down. Oh, look, I didn't glue that right there. Poopy. Let's find our point. Get a fluff sandwich in there. It's like that marshmallow fluff filling doesn't. Do any of you guys like that stuff? Ooh. I was like fascinated by it with as a kid and I think maybe and my mother would never because she was so healthy she would never buy me junk food now like I'm the worst mom I buy all the junk food um I think I tried it once and I thought it was disgusting but I was obsessed for so long I wanted it just because it was like denied to me and it looked so you know marshmallow fluff that's amazing you can put it on sandwiches with like peanut butter what the this is amazing All right, so hmm. look at those interesting lines. All right, so the original idea was I could still sew it down using a blind stitch or the slips the ladder stitch or whatever I would just need to do a section at a time fold it at the line fold it at my basting stitch line as my guide does that work you see use this as my guide to keep a nice straight edge and then ladder stitch or even stitch through that Hmm. Or I could just try to hot glue it down. I mean, the perfectionist in me wants to try to sew it, but we have the hot glue gun hot. Maybe we could try to hot glue it and see how it looks. But you see how that basting stitch really helps keep it nice? The only thing is then, oh heck, I don't know. Let's just try to hot glue it. If it turns out terrible, it turns out terrible. What am I gonna do? The fluff, get in there fluff. Oof, it's gonna be hot and it's gonna make an ugly edge and I'm gonna have to probably put trim on it somehow. I don't want to do that. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I am the worst of the worst with hot glue. It's because I overwork it. All right, so. I don't know how well that's gonna stick. Okay, so I'm gonna fold down this side along. Along the basting stitch and I'm gonna go a little bit at a time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing it out of camera so nobody can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I don't like how it lining. So if I was sewing this, I could get it perfect. Oh no, that's going to have a lot of glue. Poopy. See how the glue popped out right there? It's now on my finger and it's hot. And it comes out, it squeezes out and then dries and it looks ugly. All right, so if I was to do this again, I would most definitely stitch it. I mean, if you put trim on here, I do have some ribbon, I'll try to put some trim around the edge and see if that will help after we, after I, but I mean, I watch so many crafting channels and they are just like, you know, freaking pros with their hot glue. Not me. But that's what they say, practice makes perfect. So I will probably, when I get like one side done, I'll probably try to put in more stuffing and adjust it. But All right, so I'm gonna have to just do a little tiny bit at a time here, I think. Oops. I'm gonna burn myself today. I'm definitely gonna burn myself today. It's coming. Oh, hot glue is just so messy. So because I want it to be exact, I'm like holding it until it's I could clamp that back down and I still have that basting stitch in there so but I guess if I cover it up with move that out of the way Barbie if I cover it up with ribbon nobody will notice I guess so I'm wondering if I should notch this to go around the curve or if I can just See how I'm trying to make it exact? Probably not a good use of my time. So if I just fold it a little bit at a time. Uh, it squeezes out. Oh no, that popped up. 
Come on. I can't get that. I can't get this curve right. I mean, it's gluing down. All right. So it probably would be easier to cut out little notches on the curve, but because I'm folding it underneath and it doesn't have to be pretty, like when you're actually sewing a curve, you don't need to flip it, you just need to fold it under there. So you're making a series of folds. Oy. So I should pick one of these and sew it and see if it's better. Now I'm going to have to tuck that under. You don't have to make that cord. Thank you very much. See. Edge is so gross. I guess that's the thing with hot glue. You just have to put trims everywhere. Or use, like, felt would be so much better for this. Let me flip that to see if I can turn it easier. So it would have been cool to sew it inside out, I guess, then try to stuff it with the cardboard. So you'd only have, you'd probably only be able to sew like half of it, then slide the cardboard in. Then you'd have to blind stitch the rest of it or do it this way, but then do a blanket stitch around the edge like if it was felt or blind stitch around the whole thing catching the cardboard, but then you'd be going through glue, which would be a massive pain in the rear end. So that would suck. So it would probably be better to do it with the, oh, it's hot. Oh, I know. Maybe I'll try to make another one of these off, like not on the camera. <laughs> and if it turns out, I'll, with the sewing, if it turns out, I'll show it. Or maybe I will forget about this and, you know. I mean, I'm getting a nice neat curve as far as like the curved shape. It's just that it's, you know, the glue's hanging out. You definitely, I'm definitely gonna have to trim this somehow. So we'll do that. I'll try to pop this fuzz down lower so I can actually just use the get the fabric and the glue gets on all of your fingers and then it sticks to your project I just don't know. <laughs> stressful okay I wonder if I need to clip this here too or if I can just pinch it around that looks pretty good there nope that uh, hurts. Ouch. Son of a bitch. That's hot. Not quite hot enough to burn, though, so that's good. So if I was like an expert glue person, this would be done already. Now I've already made a boo-boo because I've already started to go up. Okay, I squished it under.
All right, now this is going to be tricky to try to get this point in this method. Because I wonder if I would have to clip that. It's already kind of tucked under. So I'm wondering if I should clip this heart here to make it try to, I want it to be sharp, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Maybe if I do this side and then work my way back towards the middle, it would help. So I don't want to, sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. And so I'm thinking that the best way to keep this even is if you, if I do this side now, just up here at the top curve to make sure that it's not like, I don't want to keep tucking this in and then not have enough fabric for this part here. I'm going to have to redistribute the fluff when I get to that, but you see, I think I've already kind of pulled it. This is the problem. Look at how gross and messy this is. Can you see in there? Ugh, I hate hot glue. I should have sewed this like I was... I should have sewed it! <sighs> All right, let's pull... Let's tack this down right over here just to see. Honestly, though, I'm just, I'm, you know, hopefully when, I'm glad that the tripod is somewhat working. I still need to have like a, a better setup for it, but I'm using my phone to record to live stream with and it looks good and it's the right direction. And the tripod, I sorted the tripod so it's not shaking. <laughs> so that's good. All right. So see, it's already not wanting to stay over far enough. Push, push you over. I'm trying to get it to... Oh, okay. Stay where I want it. My dog. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's dreaming right now. Oh, this is just disgusting. All right, so we do have this problem right up in here. So I wonder if I clip it, I'm going to dig this out again. See, you know, these crafters that you watch that do these 10 minute videos and stuff, they figure all, they do this like for hours and figure it out how to do it before they show it to you guys. And then they replicate what they've done. And then we think they're just absolutely amazing and brilliant and they don't, because they are, but we don't see all the trial and error, right? That it took them to do. So there's already way too much glue under there. It feels disgusting. So I'm going to pop some of that, dig some of that glue out if I can. I don't know if I can. Ugh. Freaking hate hot glue so much. Okay. Now. In theory, this was a good idea, but in practice, no. No. Oh my goodness. Is your sister dreaming? She's dreaming so hard. She is, huh? I was looking at me like, what the heck is sister doing? All right, so I'm trying to now work backwards. I did clip the center, and I want you to work backwards to give myself a nice clean edge. Hopefully, over here. OK, 
Okay, now, what a disgusting mess that is. Let me, I'm on my table, as usual. I'm not even sure. Oh, you're back. <laughs> I've just been moaning and groaning the whole time about how gross hot glue is and how I hate it. <laughs> so, and how gross this is turning out. I should have sewed it. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm just trying to glue the edges down. You didn't. You just missed me. Like, I decided to cut. <clears throat> I hot glued around the cardboard and then I sewed a stay stitch with a basting stitch so that I had something to turn the fabric on to try to keep it in shape, which that part worked, but I should have sewed it together um, because I am not good with the hot glue. So now I'm trying to, I, hot, I glued it, I folded it over and hot glued it around here. You can see the messy edge. I'm gonna have to use a ribbon to trim out this hot glue. So I went, I went all the way around to here, then I did this, and then I cut a slit, and now I'm trying to shape the point, because I like my hearts to be pointy. Uh, I thought it would be faster than sewing it, but I think it would have been faster to sew it. Um, or if I was using felt or something, this would be a lot easier, probably. So, yeah, because... I am just not having a good time here. It's because I, I wanted everything to be crisp and clean, right? So that's, that's why I should have sewed it with like a blind stitch all the way around. Okay, I think I almost got that folded under. I mean, I am going to trim it out, so I guess it's okay, but... Yeah, I mean, at this rate, having to, like, shape it and then the nasty edge, and I could have just been, like, sewn it by <laughs> Even by hand, it might have been faster. All right, I'm just going to tack this down at this point. I mean, this is why people who use hot glue, I always have, like, embellishments all over everything because i gotta, I got to hide the hot glue. <laughs> oh, get out of there. Damn it. All right, now, yeah, I know that I'm trying really hard this year to not be a perfectionist about everything. This like totally kills my um, productivity and just finished products, projects, because, you know, the more you do something, the better you get anyway. You can't be, I mean, I'm just totally experimenting here, so I wasn't expecting perfection. This is not like a, make this amazing heart pincushion video, you know, because I'm just making it up. Oh, but it's just so gross. All right, so, I... I'm definitely going to have to put trim there. I don't even know at this point if that's the hot glue or if it's the fluff on the hot glue. Oh, it's so gross. The sides, other than the hot glue residue, actually worked out okay. It's just this... I mean, hearts are so hard to make pillows and stuff and have them still have that point. Oh, thank you very much. I'm trying. I think there's something about, I don't mind glue being on my hands, but there is something about hot glue that stresses me out. Like, I don't have this problem with, like, tacky glue and stuff, but hot glue, maybe it's because I'm worried I'm going to burn myself, or maybe I just need to be a better, like, before recently, the only thing I'd ever hot glued was my, I made my wedding bouquet with silk flowers, and I hot glued that together, and that, like, 
was like it. That was like the only, how oh, that burns. That was the only thing I had ever hot glued. Really. I wasn't, I'm, I'm not somebody who's very experienced with it. So I am trying to learn the ways of the hot glue gun. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to trim that out. All right, so I think it's gonna look, it's not even and it's puckering. It's making me mad, but I'm gonna stuff it so better. So that will hopefully fix it. It also would have just been easier. So if I had just tried to sew this without putting the cardboard in, this would have been like easy peasy. I would have just sewed it around, left the hole, turned it inside out, stuffed it, and then sewed up the tiny little hole but because I couldn't figure out how to do the cardboard part and I wanted a solid bottom I mean I guess I could have like sewed it and then glued it onto glued it onto a solid bottom that was covered in fabric or something that might have been smarter <laughs> and easier <laughs> oh that could have been a better idea all right I think I'm going to go down to the bottom and tuck this under I do have a lot of fabric scraps and stuff I wanted to use up. Make some random stuff and just practice things, you know? What's going on? Doesn't want to fold nicely for me down here. Okay. It also might have been better, well, I don't know, you still kind of see that glue on the back side. Ugh. Yes, my glue technique is sad. Little lacking. All right. Let's pop some glue under there. Try not to burn myself again. No, get under there. Get in there. Yeah. You have a lot of scraps. I was like thinking it would be cool to do like scrap busting challenges and stuff. Like mini pillows for the dolls and I don't know, all kinds of things. So I'm going to try to think of some ideas and jot them down in a notebook. All right. Now, the other thing I don't like about hot glue is like, so the edges are all bumpy and lumpy. I hate that. Ugh. But as long as, if you don't touch it, it, it doesn't look it. But when you feel it, it's like... And so the question is like, all right, so the point is, is I wanted something to stop my pins so that they wouldn't, my other pin cushion, there's no backing. So they go all the way down and then it's really hard for me to grab them. And it is annoying. Scrappy spring. Well, you could start that and I could join in. <laughs> Scraps, scrap. Yeah, scrap, scrappy spring, scrap something. It would be good. Scrap busters. All right, I want to make see if I need any more fluff in here before I try to close it up. Because pillows or what else could we blanket scrap blankets like scrap quilts for the doll I mean I'm, it doesn't have to just be for dolls you know but I mean for Barbies and stuff you can make shirts out of just a little bit of fabric all right now that is frustrating because I put see how far that went down and now it's hard there it made it apparently went down too far so now I can't have a nice pretty puff right there unless I 
rip that up. Oh, crap. Frustrating, stupid hot glue. It's hard to con... All right. I'm pushing... I'm trying to push up under here because this is the hot glue. Apparently there was like a big squirt of it down there. And so it is limiting my fabric. Puffiness. Because it went too deep. Oh, poopy. Next time I will sew this for 100%. 100% if I do this again. I might try it again. But I will sew it. Oops. Sew it and then just maybe use the hot glue to add trim or something on the edges. Which I'm going to have to do anyway. That glue right there. It's starting to get nice and puffy. Need a little bit more. But it's coming up there. If if anybody ever watches this on playback, which I doubt because it's too long, <laughs> and you know how to use hot glue, give me the tips. <laughs> give me all your tips. I have some fabric glue that I tried to use once when I was making brooches, this stuff. And this stuff does not work. I mean, it's like, it takes forever to set up, and it says it's permanent. Anyway, maybe I... Maybe I should try that again. It's more fun experiments for the spring. Scrappy spring. It's not spring yet, though. What is the first day of spring? All right. That might be enough. All right. I mean, it could just be an open collab with a hashtag. It doesn't even have to be for the spring. It could just be like all the time. Oh no, crap. Oh no. It came unfolded. Uh, so what are you making your market food out of? Polymer clay? Air dry clay? This is like my only pencil and I just totally glued the tip. Smart. You know, I do that. I, I'll like hold it. Um, but I'm afraid with this fabric, it's going to burn or it's going to melt because it's like plastic. You know, it's complete plastic fabric. I don't, I don't know what, if I hold the tip because this is a hot glue gun like too much, like how it would react. Note to self. <laughs> March 1st is when you believe, when you feel it's the first of spring, like to you, that's like intuitively when you're like, I feel like it's spring now. March, April. Isn't it usually like around the 21st of something? It wouldn't be. I'd look it up on my phone, but my phone is streaming. So this is just more awkward because I've stuffed it fuller at this point and so it's coming up, it's not sticking nicely. I'm definitely going to have to hold it longer and then definitely have to use trim on this. So it's going to burn me. Ow. 
much. And I just got a huge glob on the fabric itself. Mother pus bucket. That's okay. I'm going to use this for myself, so nobody has to see that but me. Until I make a better one. Right there. Almost there. Oh my gosh. Definitely when I'm not streaming, I'm gonna try to sew it. And it might be a way to, there's gotta be a better way to do this. I just felt like streaming today because I was sitting here and, you know, I'm actually at my desk, which is an amazing thing. And I've been on it, sitting here, working on things for a couple hours. That's also awesome. The dogs aren't happy about it, though. The dogs want action. All right. All right, I'm almost, I've almost closed it up. And then, oh God, it's disgusting. And then I'm gonna get some ribbon and we're gonna try to fix it. <laughs> oh my gosh, so gross, I hate it. God. All right, now that I've completely butchered that, I mean, and I still didn't get this as deep as I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Did that actually melt the plastic there? I can't tell. All right, let me see what kind of ribbon I have. I don't have a lot, but I do have some thin ribbon. This might be way too thin. Oh no. Ah! I might need some thicker ribbon for this. In theory, in theory, if my glue was neater, I could just use, you know, like this thin ribbon here. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Um. Oh my god, this is so gross. All right, I'm gonna call this a crafting fail, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to just use this. Right. I mean, the back is fairly clean and doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna try to put it on the top to disguise this disgusting mess, and then I'm gonna say we're done with this. Um. Yeah. Because it's hideous. Oh, so hideous. So apparently I need to invest in some thicker ribbon if I'm going to be hot gluing stuff to hide my messes. Oh my God. <laughs> So oh, funny. Oh. Okay, that is my husband calling. So I'm going to actually have to cut the stream. But thank you so much for joining me in my experiment today. I I will definitely. Oh look, now I've just screwed that up too. <laughs> God. Ah. All right. So the idea is sound. If you are a good sewer, I mean a good crafter, you could totally do this. If you had bigger ribbon, this would also work. And if you were better with the hot glue gun, I would suggest using felt. Uh, it hides a lot more sins. And I do have felt. I might try this again with some felt. So, or just make your heart and then glue it down onto a backing of cardboard that's covered in fabric. And that way your pins won't go through, but you won't have this freaking mega disaster that I had. 
So <laughs> I got to call my husband back because he'll think there's something wrong if I don't. So I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for stopping in. It was so nice to see you. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing your, your craft market when you have time to work on it. All right. Bye.